Hi Scorpios, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing a general reading for June. This is a bonus message. Let's see the messages for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Mercury, Sun, Scorpio, plus Ross Watchers. <clears throat> Take whatever resonates this since this is a general reading. For personal readings, white spells, premium charge crystals, reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, or email. Let's see, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Mercury signs. Plus, you can check out other channels as well where I do Scorpio based reads and I also do Hindi reads. All the details are in the description box. Four of Cups, the Magician. Okay, so. It's definitely very, very hot right now. And let me adjust AC. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups. We have the Magician. Something in your life that has been keeping you stuck, has been keeping you uh, stagnant, is finally leaving, is finally leaving. There is someone that has been feeding over your attention. Um, there has been someone that was like trying to get your <clears throat> you to bow down on them. I feel whatever someone does anything against you, it always backfire them. You come out as a winner. I'm seeing now you're not going to bother about who does what and who is what. You're going to live your life on your own terms. With full confidence and courage, you're going to be like breaking all barriers and do something exciting, do something different, do something big. So Scorpio, you're done with the past drama. You're like, get away from me. You're not in this... Uh, energy of dealing with drama in your life whereas so many people stuck in their life doing nothing got to do nothing they have no passion they have no purpose all they can do is feed on your energy and gain some power pity on these people so i feel like you started to pity on them you started to realize your own purpose and i feel you're moving towards a big change in your life slow and steady wins the race that is what you believe in right now and that is what you're doing right now you're moving towards growth. You're moving towards life-changing experience slowly and steadily. There's a Pisces around that has been playing a lot of games with you. There is this Pisces energy. Maybe it's someone else. Maybe it's not Pisces. Maybe it's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be any sign. But this person is like trying to, you know, uh, play games, manipulate you, keep you stuck. It's always wondering about what is going on with you, what is up with you. And you on the flip side are not giving them any sort of attention. This is also bothering them a lot, okay? So whatever they do, whatever they plan against you, A, B, C, all of that goes against them, all of that fails okay because you're keeping yourself your life extremely mysterious stay mysterious guys because a lot of people are interested in destroying you because you're something okay that is why okay i feel like you're going to answer back to all the uh, nagging to all the negative feedbacks or criticism coming to you I'm seeing there is someone around you that personally does not want to see you do better. So they keep on giving you a little bit of like insecurity vibes by nagging or criticizing a little things. Okay. And you end up, you know, trying to find out what they meant to say. So what is happening right now is you're pushing them back. You're giving it back to them. You're like, get out my way. I don't care about you. <laughs> So I think, why are you unnecessarily entering in my zone and getting yourself stunned by a Scorpio? So whoever has been trying to, you know, persuade you, I feel they're getting stung by you. So I'm seeing that uh, someone really wants your attention, but they're not getting anything. No energy, no ego boost nothing you're not feeding them anything because you come off as extremely mysterious right now another thing that i'm seeing over here is time for you to think ahead of life because all that was not in your favor is finally getting out of your way and now you have a smooth road where you can just pace speed up your car and reach your final destination you don't have to worry all you can do to block your growth is just going back and forth in your thoughts 
if you can just come out of your past negative uh, energy or whatever experience the memories that still haunt you if you can simply stop thinking about the past experiences that haunts you still you can definitely have a fast-paced growth coming into your life because the road is clear okay so a lot of people are looking at you and they're like what is what is this scorpio up to you know you're having this thing yeah there's a lot of jealousy around feel that this could be a cancer any sign guys any sign let me tell you there is someone or there are a group of people that do not like you not because you're not good looking or you're not uh re loving or respectful they don't like you because you are everything that a person would want to be or you're blessed with all the qualities that everybody wants to have in one person so you will see a lot of jealousy you will see a lot of people talking behind your back gossiping cheating on you as well so don't take it to your heart it's the insecurity it's because they can't be you so they try to destroy you so I'm feeling like you're able to see through people's truth and that is why you're not paying attention. Some sort of fight, someone wants to create conflicting situation between the two of you. Someone wants to, you know, stop you by creating uh, uh, mental chaos in your head by criticizing or stuff like that. Or there's someone that's continuously fighting with you for no reason. Let me tell you that fight, that trouble, that someone obstacle that they're causing you. They'll be getting their karma. And I feel like you are not getting affected anymore. You're fed up of this person or in general group of people. But I'm seeing you defending yourself very nicely by not even taking interest in it. Don't take interest. So there's someone that wants to put you in the messed up situation in a... Uh, fight in a you know some sort of a conflict to confuse you somewhere someone wants to have a power over you but trust me your power is growing up because god is watching okay your power is going up you're becoming more and more independent capable i'm seeing your money is definitely shooting up okay skyrocketing i'm seeing your finances are growing on next level i'm seeing there is um financial success definitely that is why you have a lot of jealousy politics but trust me you guys need to ignore because you guys are still going to be at the top leading okay you will be leading you will be like making heads turn so a lot of heads will also turn with jealousy so you can't change that right so i'm definitely seeing with the six of pentacles energy a lot of money is coming in guys not just money i'm seeing a happy ending so whatever you want, write down the comment section. What do you want in terms of happiness? Do you want to ha get married? Do you want to be in a most loyal relationship ever? Do you want to make a lot of money? What I'm seeing over here in this case is the Ten of Cups in the bottom of the deck says the Empress, which is a sign of marriage, okay, getting married. I'm seeing there's a beautiful relationship. Someone's going to be by your side. Someone's going to take over all your problems. Someone's that's going to fight for you. It's coming within six weeks or six days or six months as well. It depends. It could be in October. It could be in September. But I'm seeing the time is coming closer and closer and closer. And I'm sensing that you not are only going to enjoy the material success and happiness in your life. You're going to enjoy the financial uh, and emotional blessing as well which is the most important which is you will have a lot of love coming from your person your kids you know whoever it is that you're uh, attracting i'm seeing definitely money is on at the peak so do not miss out any opportunity just because the people around you doesn't want you to succeed that doesn't mean that you sit down okay so this is an alarming time where universe is pushing you and uh, pushing you to do things that you can do, you believe in, and it's going to bring you massive results. I'm seeing there's a lot of growth. I'm seeing there's a lot of happiness. The Ten of Cups, I'm seeing marriage happening. All of the chaos in your life is changing, shifting to blessing. So you are going to be blessed by a lot of money respect and honor financial independence and success and the marriage that can, that will fill your heart with joy and happiness like your i can feel it your skin is flushing in pink color you're feeling happy 
you know, and you're, you're feeling more healthier because you are happy, you're positive. And then the, we have the seven of souls and the king of wands and a Jimmy C. You also have someone that wants to have you in, in their life. It's because you have money and not because they love you. So be very careful. This could be someone from the past wanting to come back. But there is always an agenda behind this. So you can't just trust anybody that comes and you will have options coming in. But definitely someone that makes an offer towards you is rich and very caring and loving towards you. I'm not saying this is someone that is from the past. Queen of Wands. Wow. This person will freak out when they first see you. This person will freak out. They'll be like, wow, what have I seen? Like, you're something very different, something extraordinary, okay? Um, out of this world. Like, the way you look, the way you carry yourself, the way you appear. Oh my gosh, this person will be completely completely flabbergasted amused okay and afraid or i would not say afraid it's like more intimidated by you they'll be scared of you like how come you're so good looking i mean that's how they'll be seeing like i feel like this person will get nervous nervous is the right word to put across in love okay so one thing that I'm also getting is your person is very, very attractive. And so are you. So you both are on the same page. You might initially run away from this person. Okay. As I told you, there is someone from the past that literally is going to worry about you not reaching out to them. You not paying them heed. You not giving them any kind of energy back. So, But this person is happy that you taught them something here. Yeah. But they do think about you day in and night. There's someone that has uh, cheated on you. There's someone that has lied to you. Is feeling really bad because they, they can see you move on. They can see you living your life carefree. They can see you growing. Maybe there was a relationship with someone. It was just completely casual. Yes, I'm seeing more than this, the nervousness. I feel like this is someone that you were about to have some sort of a relationship. But they turned out to be a player. Or a flirt okay and they still watch you and when they watch you they're freaking out they're like wow how could this Scorpio grow so much now they know they messed it all up and they have learned something from you they still think about you but they know they cannot have you anymore okay so all that glitters is not gold this person is not as good as you think they are even if they are telling you that they change they may see themselves as the best person on earth but they're not for you but i'm seeing they do want to mend things between you and them and they always are in this energy of trying to know what is happening in your life someone secretly is trying to know your uh, whereabouts and i feel they want a reconciliation but i'm seeing you living your life carefree and wanting someone new to step into your life that is coming happy family see let me tell you that you guys are going to get married to someone new someone new someone passionate someone loving someone caring down to earth humble more than that this person is very rich that's coming towards you and caring and wants to give you all the happiness in the world so i feel that one that's coming towards you wants to build a family you guys are getting married i'm definitely seeing all right so you understand that everybody is different and you can't change a person based on your needs and you cannot you know um force things and i'm also seeing the new person that's coming towards you is is one of a kind you've never met someone like that before and you will have very different experience with them you'd love them for the person they are they're very different from you and that is why it excites you so your new love is different from you okay another thing that i'm seeing scorpio my scorpio let me see what else we have here yeah you need to free yourself of the flirt that still is missing you like crazy there's a flirt around you and i feel this is someone from the past that ditched you they want to be back now that they can see you living your life and doing your thing you on the flip side are letting them go you want to let this person go you want to brush this person away from your life like, completely even if they try to come back which i can see okay however you're making room for new love 
right now that's exactly what i'm seeing you're making new room for love and you want someone new to come into your life there you go you're stepping out of your comfort zone i feel like you'll meet this person in an unusual place in an unusual situation where you're going out and about maybe you're on a vacation maybe someone introduces you to this person so it has to be you that needs to experiment a bit with uh, your schedule with going out and you know exploring life and that's how you meet them anyway i'm definitely seeing you're protected the one that is coming towards you guys the one that you're ending up with is very protective of you they really care about you i'm seeing universe is protecting you so don't worry if someone hurts you if someone bothers you if someone is hurting you okay don't worry you're being protected universe is taking care of you whoever is hurting you will get their karma and a lot of people you cannot trust this is what i'm seeing in your life right now because you're following your life purpose and there will be lots of success coming towards you okay like i'm seeing a lot of success okay so don't worry there you go imprisonment yeah you're feeling suffocated are you still holding on to the negative situation and surroundings and people you don't want to be in you need to come out of your comfort zone break free those walls stop thinking in a negative or stop thinking in a close-minded way think in a broad-minded way if you're more broad-minded i feel nothing like little things around you will bother you like it is bothering you right now you're putting yourself okay willingly in a comfort zone that is not bringing you any growth that's not bringing you any help so also another thing is you have this tendency right now that you've been overtly thinking about things yeah see it's because you're in your comfort zone having being tired of the same stuff going on every day same routine you want to go out you want to do something different so there is a need for you to break free from this you know energy how do you do that let me see Scorpio. first of all focus on expansion with your work life purpose your life purpose is important it'll really help you grow growth is one key element to success because it gives you inner satisfaction and happiness temperance another thing is remain calm and focus on the bigger picture long-term success long-term outcomes little things will always keep on affecting you dogs keep barking but you have to keep moving forward another thing to start taking up challenges face off okay willingly you know face those challenges and don't be scared of those challenges is a part of life and it has to come no matter what happens so you can't brush it off you can't push it away it's a part of life okay and i'm also seeing that if you feel like something is uh too difficult and you've been trying your best to correct things you've been trying your best to work things out and they're not working in your favor there is a need for you to give up if someone doesn't want to change and is continuously forcing you to think negatively about yourself or is continuously criticizing there is a need for you to give up because you're still stretching and your hands are getting hurt so you need to let go okay and be at peace what makes you feel happy and peaceful do that okay and focus on balancing your emotions don't get too overboard with things like too happy too sad not done let's see the signs coming through okay we have cancer gemini Capricorn, Sagittarius, okay? Let us see from Aries to Pisces, what does your person think and feel for you? Aries towards Scorpio. They want equal give and take. They really want to work things out. They want to get married to you. They're very interested in you. Then we're having... Taurus. 
I feel this person is um, not honest. You need to like give them, give it a space, give it, take a break from this person because they're not being honest with you. Gemini. Okay. I feel like they're done. They want to move on. But they don't want to hurt you either. So be careful. Cancer. This person misses a sexual connection. I feel that's the only thing they need right now. Leo. I feel this person thinks that you're way above their league and they cannot have you, which is true. Virgo. Okay, too many. You don't need too many. All right, so the Virgo is, I feel like the Virgo is more interested in someone new. And they've been changing partners, like changing clothes, not cool. Libra. This person is trying too hard to impress and I feel it's going downhill. It's backfiring them. I'm also seeing that this person is not a happy person and they will also create problems even though if they might like you but they will always create problems because they cannot see people happy as they don't know what happiness means. They like to stay in uh, anxiety, sadness, you know, this is person, I'm not getting very good vibes anyway. Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. This person is taking time. They have options. They're not sure. Sagittarius. They're more about me, myself, and I. They've moved on. They want to make a lot of money. Stay away. Capricorn. I feel like it's completely new that's going to come. All the people that you know right now are not good for you capricorn could be the one that wants uh something really long term so i feel like this person is more like looking for which option is best for them right now but they want commitment aquarius they see you moving on from them and they're not liking it pisces Okay, the Pisces person wants to break free from this connection because they want something uh, casual and not long term. That's the reason why they're breaking away from you. Okay, this person has name B in their... Um, they have B in their name, okay? Or I'm seeing this is someone that's going to end up marrying you. And take care of yourself. I'm seeing someone likes to play good songs. And they could be very ambitious, very successful, good looking, attractive, spiritual. They have L in their name. D, someone from Bangladesh. Or this could be the letters in uh, you know countries okay i'm seeing this person is a good guitarist or they could be a singer but i'm seeing there's a lot of love and respect here i'm seeing they're fond of jewelry okay but i'm seeing the color red which means marriage commitment someone's from london someone's yeah i'm seeing this person is um someone that is very different and they're not the, you know, you might, you might see the wrong person as your soulmate and then later realize that there's someone else. So be careful of who you're trusting. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. Another thing that I'm seeing is this person is highly spiritual. That's another hint. They could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Also, this person loves being home with you. Most of the time they're at home when they're, when they're not working. They love being at home. Or both of you are homie or one of you is homie as heck. So that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful read. Thank you for your time, Scorpio. Do like, share, comment and subscribe to Ayanigma. I'll see you back again with more stuff. Do check out the link below for extended. Bye.